Do you know the history of your particular area? I mean your origin. Welcome to the eastern region of Ghana, narrowing down to Kweu Atibie. This area, if you've ever been here or you've ever heard of this particular place, then you know that many people always travel here during the Easter holiday. Do you know why? Just stick to this video to the end as I take you through the history of this particular area to also showing you the view from the sky of this magnificent place. But before we do that, please like and subscribe to this channel for more contents like this. I'm your host Joy Liz and this is your number one updating channel on construction projects, vlogs, travel and adventure and anything that may come in between. Now. Let's dive straight into the video. Kweu refers to an area and a group of people that live in Ghana and are part of the Tui speaking Akan group. Is it Tui or Tui? I don't know how to mention that properly, guys. How do you pronounce it, maybe? But I hope you got me right. So I don't want to bore you with a lot of history because me, myself, guys, I don't love history. Do you? Yeah, but I have to mention this. Wait. The name Kweu, according to historians, was derived from its myth of origin, the slave who died, which was based on an ancient prophecy that a slave will die so the wandering tribe of Akan will know where to settle. Guys, I'm done with the history. I told you I don't love history. But that is a small information that I can tell you about the Kweu people. Do you know why I'm, I have to read this? This is because today we are going to talk about Kweu area, the layout, the weather, the people who are there, and also some of the best celebrations that we have in this particular area. So guys, just stick to the end to know more about this particular area. I bet you at the end of watching this video, you are going to love Kweu and you will never ever miss the Easter celebration after this video. Kweu Atibia is located at the eastern region of Ghana, which is quite distant from Accra city, the capital of Ghana. When traveling by road, it will take you three hours and some minutes covering a total distance of 159 kilometers journey by road. So if you are interested to visit Kweu, then be sure that there is only one way that you can use. That is when you are coming from the greater Accra and that is the Kumasi road. So most of the time, some people uh, do want to visit Kweu, but they don't even know how to start or where uh, to go and board the buses. But if you are going to travel by road, then uh, just be sure that you are going to use the Kumasi road, which is going to direct you straight to Kweu. So this particular area in the eastern region of Ghana always uh, has a different weather. It is very, very cold during the night. The temperature always drops so much, and that is because the place is very mountainous. Sometimes they even refer to it as the mountain top. So many people always uh, refer to this weather as the weather in London. I don't know how the connection is, but that is what so many people call it, and that is why they say that this particular area is called Small London. So guys, Kweu is in a raised uh, place. It is like um, on top of the mountain and that is why you are going to see that there is a lot of mist. That is just telling you that this area is extremely cold during the nights, right? Yeah, you are going to see that it's even covering the view of the place. So don't worry. I've already explained that to you that the area is on a raised place and it is quite misty. From Greater Accra to Kweu, you are going to pass numerous restaurants along the way. And uh, most of the time, during the bus stops, you can always alight and go grab something to chop. Or you can buy it and carry it to your bus or your car as you continue with your journey. So the journey is not going to be that bad. Yeah, and by the way, uh, some time back, they said that the biggest restaurant in Africa 
is located in Kweu. I don't know if it's, it's still the biggest to this moment, but that is what was said. So drop a comment down. Let's know if you have an idea about that, okay? So guys, uh, please make it, make it an effort to travel to Kweu, specifically during the Easter because you are going to enjoy how these people celebrate their Easter. They believe that they are celebrating that because they are thanking God for protecting them from the start of the year up to that time and also placing their plans for their future in the hand of God still to be a, a blessing in the future, right? So that is why they really celebrate it in a different way. Yes, so make an effort and go and uh, celebrate. But maybe if you happen to have celebrated it here in Kweu, drop a comment, let know how your experience was. The layout of this place, guys, the buildings, these modern buildings, guys, are so, so good. And um, as you can see, uh, this place is so green. It is so man it is a mountainous place, so the weather is always cold. You need to know that before you decide to visit this area. Mostly during the night, the weather is very, very cold. So you need to know what to pack when you want to visit Quail. Yeah, I don't want to mess with you guys because you may come to this particular area, but then you don't wear warmly thinking that the weather is just the same as uh, the ones that is in maybe Greater Accra, for instance. But no, the weather here is quite different because the place is raised. I just told you that they refer to this area sometimes as a mountain top so it's very cold during the night yeah but uh, purpose to visit this particular area i just love the fact that uh, the roads are not that bad uh, maybe sometimes you may see that some of the buildings at this area some of them are quite old but they still look very very beautiful I love the eastern side of Accra. No, the eastern side of Ghana. What am I saying? Yeah, I love the eastern side of Ghana. It looks so amazing. So uh, just stick to the video. Watch it to the end, guys, and give it a thumbs up. That is if you like it. By the way, do you know the history of your particular area or where your roots are? Do you really know the history? I said I don't love history, but it's always good to know your history so you can know your origin, right? Yeah, so if you are watching me for the first time by any chance, please thank you so much and you are welcome to Joy Lee's family. Consider subscribing, like and also share my video widely with your people and your friends. Uh, yeah, sharing is caring, guys, and it helped me reach more people and also also do many videos all together so please uh, don't forget to subscribe kindly subscribe to my channel support me let's hit 5,000 subscribers yeah thank you so much for watching this far I'm still your host Joy Liz and I love you so much guys thank you for always coming back thank you for always watching thank you for all those comments the likes guys I don't take it for granted I'm so so much thankful for those who always watch and also comment down below thank you so much you are part of my family and i just hope that uh, we hit 5000 together thank you so much i hope we are going to meet again guys in my next episode that is coming up very very soon okay please be safe always and don't ever stop exploring thank you